Hello Capricorn. Welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising. Welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. The message could be for you. Feel free to take it how <laughs> there is. However it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind, these are general and timeless readings. Everything you need to access is down below in the description box, which is my website link and Instagram handle. All that good stuff is down below. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways you've been here and supported the channel. Let's dive into your message. I think I'm gonna flip these around again. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so that could be going on, but something's weird here. Because these are the archetypes. Um, if you guys have a fire sign placement in your chart, there could be a little bit of an emphasis on that. This is a really weird combination because it's kind of like what I talked about with um, fake smiles, spiritual bypassing. There's a feminine in the energy like that. Like they just smile a lot, but they're like doing something really abusive. They could be a bully or toxic in some way. There's someone like that in the environment. Pentacles in the reverse. Let's lay these out and then we'll put more down. Nine of Wands. There's a lot of perseverance. The warrior in reverse. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put this as the center. That's supposed to represent you. Queen of Pentacles. How appropriate. But there could be something here that's going on. This is the overall. So take it however it resonates with your situation. And then we have at the top the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Okay. Um, this can be a negative cycle. Something could be flipping around and it was in, uh, involving someone here in this environment. This is external. So this is the external aspect. And then we've got, oh, Hermit in the Reverse came out, that was recent, recent past. If someone was going through a time of introspection and seclusion, that's recently shifted. Maybe there's a person that was isolating for a while, it could have been an intentional abusive thing, or something is shifted here where someone's coming out of some kind of process or being reintroduced to the world. Um, yeah, it's pretty intense. You could be connected to this situation somehow, especially if this is some kind of, I don't know, or this could be extroversion, ex an extroverted energy. And then we've got, yes, this five of pentacles in reverse. Rejection, abandonment stuff, and there's that nine of wands in the center. Oops, that I want to put up at the top. There we go. <laughs> this is a really interesting combination. Can't even with this. Nice. Thank you for staying up. Freaking cards. Okay. And... Let's grab the rest of them. I'm probably going to shift that because I don't really want them like that. Okay. What have we got, Cap? Wow, this is so freaking... Wow. Seven of Swords is in the reverse, so that's some kind of deception or something being taken. It's being illuminated right now. We've got the Eight of Swords in reverse. And Ten of Wands. <laughs> the Lovers is in reverse. Hmm. 
Nine of Pentacles is in the reverse. Whoa. Ace of Cups and Three of Cups. How very interesting. Okay, let's get into this. Okay, I'm actually going to put this like this. Nine of Pentacles. Um, that's a codependency. Also, that can be entrepreneurship is in the reverse because something, there was something stolen here. <laughs> it's just straight up. Like, okay, and now we have the Ace of Cups and the Three of Cups in reverse. That's other people that are affected by this whole situation. And there's not a genuine... That can be a no emotional neglect or it's like an element of this is, that's out of balance, which makes sense to me with the queen being in reverse. That's some kind of feminine that's like um, out of balance. But with that combination with the comic, that's a person that's like, they're a bully. They also want... Um, wanted to get the rewards about, without putting in the actual effort or doing the actual work that was done, which also has that vibe to the Seven of Swords. So whatever was stolen or taken, it's like, there's a person here, if this was a feminine, because I don't see any masculines here in this. Possible with the Hermit. But here's the whole situation, okay? So, um... All right, so this feminine energy, whoever that archetype is, so they're out of balance and someone had stolen something, but it's like they can't really steal the authentic part of it because there's a person here that didn't do the work, but this, it's like, this could be about money, business, finances. It could be all of that that's going on here. But you could be realizing, like, someone's trying to steal something or take something from you. And you could be um, working with this whole process, whatever that looks like. But yeah, this queen in reverse. It's a person that's doing all this passive-aggressive, subtle, um, manipulative things. Like, they're bullying they're either copying or doing something like that, and but then they like have these big smiles for comic. I can't even make this up. Like they, they like want to laugh a lot, but they're the one being abusive to someone else in the environment. This person that actually went through the work, the warrior in reverse. Like there's someone that's trying to drain this person of their power or from their energy purposely. And that's a part of the issue here. There's a lot of perseverance or just like um, determination, perfecting some kind of process that's coming in in general. But the Five of Pentacles in reverse, something could be going on. Like, yeah, it's almost like you'll have to be conscious of your actions right now because the Will of Fortune in reverse can be like I've been um, seeing it lately as like, pressing the record button on your life and something about this process because will of fortune is a cycle you're in and it's about a couple of different people two maybe three it's about partnerships that are happening in general there's a lot that's going on there's a lot of depth but that's why i was talking about whatever happens in that moment that there's this is just like on record Whatever is going to happen, whatever's happening right now, it's like to be conscious of your actions or your involvement in the situation because the cycle will flip or the tables will turn. And when that happens, you'll be on the receiving end of it or you'll be on the opposite side of the process of whatever is happening. And that's why you'll want to stay conscious of this. Seven of Swords reverse. Something being stolen there, but it like can't be stolen. The original part of it, like, because there's a person that actually put the work in. This this warrior person, whoever was in the external environment, this is literally like it could be a spiritual warrior or a person that's very been through a battle you know, went through something challenging that you might not know about yet. It could be something that's going to come out. 
and I think when that happens, you'll be pretty surprised about what this person did have to go through. And you're, you're going to come to some kind of enlightenment or illumination about that process. But so Ace of Cups and the Three of Cups reverse looks like community. Three of Cups reverse can be tribe, friendships, but there's like it's either an emotional manipulation because someone it's this is tied to it the everything that accumulated from the past is going to be involved in this current situation and there was something here almost about someone didn't um someone didn't have all the time of solitude or what's coming up to the surface right now is like someone What's coming out to the light is monetary stuff, like money balance, things like that. Anyway, but also what's going to come up to the surface right now in like social gatherings or friendships if, is if someone really was independent or got to know themselves. Because that's what's coming to the forefront and what's going to be looked at with a magnifying glass. <laughs> this cat little human almost has like a monocle or something um yeah it's like the something's being looked at deep um the fine details of some kind of situation involving money or whatever was stolen or taken or copied or plagiarized whatever was going on in that situation everything's being looked at especially what's going to be looked at is someone's process of getting to know themselves like the root the root of all this is codependencies that's always my card of nine of pentacles reverse it's like something here about the foundation of something genuinely being produced here that's going to produce good results was all about someone spending the time to get to know themselves properly and moving through Breaking codependencies is no easy feat. It's actually, like, pretty crazy the stuff that comes up to the surface when that happens. But you can't fake that part of the process. Like, it genuinely has to come up. And this could be that, like, Nine of Pentacles is reverse. It can involve couples. It can involve partnerships. And the lack of someone going through that process of getting to know themselves and having the proper solitude. This is not like a day or so of being on your own kind of energy. The hermit is sometimes like a process that you go through. It's like a lone wolf. It's like a person that um, has to develop a relationship with themselves and that's being looked at right now is someone that doesn't have their own answers as someone that developed something but they skipped a part of the process and that's what's going to be really like observed or it'll be highlighted a lot and it will also produce a result in the connections over here because that's why this Ace of Cups is in reverse. It can be the, the lack of emotional connection that's needed to create positive change in people, either in friendships, like there's a lack of genuine emotional connection there. Because there's like an element of self-care or something very interesting around that. And it's involving some kind of bully feminine here that thought they were going to get away with something. They thought that they were going to get away with stealing something, especially if something was taken either like um, intellectual property or uh, if it was something of value to you, like your gift or even your essence. Like someone could have tried to duplicate you, but they thought they were going to be better at being you than you. They thought that they could, whatever you had developed, like you had developed it. You or someone here in this environment developed something and they went through a hell of a time to get there. And there are other people that are passing judgment on this particular person with where they're standing. Um, 
but this person's in a process of recovery, whoever that is involved in this situation. And that's kind of the weirdness that I'm getting around this, is someone thought they're, they like took something of value, they took a gift or they took someone's essence because they thought they looked at this person, whatever elements of their life, and they were like, I can do it better or I can like, I can be that person but they don't know who they are and they don't know how to even get the answers and that's going to come up to the surface right now with this whole situation and the results the results of these people going through a positive transformation is going to be the key player to this and there's that's going to be the interesting part that unfolds let me dive into the extended I'll see whatever else wants to come out. If you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, see you over there. But Cap, if this is where we leave things, sending you so much love, wishing all the very best. See you in the next reading. Take care.